everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is obviously another grocery haul and meal plan. I really hope you enjoy them. So if you want to see what we have bought and what we're eating for the week ahead, then keep watching. Okay, so as per the CMA guidelines, I am required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, obviously this has all been bought with my own money and I don't really have much to say other than that. So let's get cracking with the grocery haul and I will do the meal plan at the end. So this is everything this week. So let's start with the fruit and veg like we always do. Also, excuse my finger, um, it's not as serious as it looks. It's just a blood blister, but I know someone's gonna ask and be like, eh, what is that? So yeah, it's a bit sore, but I can't really do anything about it because I'm right-handed and I always point with my left. So um, we have British asparagus, two packs of that. That was still on offer at the moment and they are, more in season and look at how big and like fat they are <laughs> they're so they look so good and um, we really like that i always try and get like asparagus or tender stem broccoli in like as little sides sometimes for certain meals that we do um and they're good for like lunches and stuff as well we've got some leeks the baby cucumbers the sweet mixed baby tomatoes these are on offer at the moment and they are delicious they're so nice um carrots red onions sprouts i've got mashed potato not mashed potatoes i am gonna mash them though mouse piper potatoes we've got an aubergine because that was an offer i swear that was about 19p or something like that um but we love aubergine me and mark and i just bought that as something to throw alongside another dish that we're doing i've got some mixed leaf salad and then baby plum tomatoes these are more like you know to throw into a salad and that kind of thing and these are more for like um a recipe if you know what i mean um, and then uh, what else we've we got we've got two heads of broccoli avocados a large cucumber and then we've got parsley and tarragon and um, i'm not growing tarragon at the moment and the recipe that i'm using for parsley would just completely nuke my plant and um, so i bought that as additional because i do use parsley quite a lot um but i will do like a tour of the garden scene or something if you'd like to see like what I'm growing and the changes I've made and stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, we have some seasonal pears. These are so nice, these ones. They're really nice and we kind of fight over them. They're so good. Pomegranate, blueberries. Um, we meant to get raspberries as well, but instead they gave us two punnets of strawberries instead. Um, that said, like a punnet of strawberries basically goes through the kids in one sitting so it's not like we won't eat them um lemons we always seem to get lemons in either for like drinks uh cocktails uh dressing sauces and stuff very handy and then apples and then would you believe the audacity of my family last week i said that i wasn't buying bananas anymore because they are wasted and lo and behold like the week that i don't buy bananas we get complaints like why haven't we got any bananas and i'm like yeah do you do the the grocery shop hmm? do you remember all these things but yeah we have bananas watch these all just go brown slowly and then have me panic and think oh do i make yet more banana bread anyway um <laughs> stalk of the items i got some more black pepper um i've been going through black pepper so quickly at the moment because certain recipe i'm really loving and then i just i don't know i'm having a thing with black pepper who knew um but this larger um grinder was on offer so i thought i would get the bigger one just because it worked out more cost effective um i got these elena roasted red peppers these are really really nice um great addition to salads and things like that uh, i got the um alfez tahini this was on offer something just fell off it that was that was interesting what is that what are you Please don't be a bug. I think it's a piece of mud, which is unusual. Anyway, I uh, got that. Great for um, like salad dressings and stuff as well. Mark added three golden vegetable Uncle Ben's to the order. Um, he likes these for lunches. Like he'll cook like any leftovers up. So we have leftover meat, for example, like chicken. Um, he'll chuck that in a pan with chicken and veg and stuff. And that's what he likes to eat. I bought two of these. I'm just going to put that in the bin because it's distracting me. <laughs> Um, I bought two of these aromatic katsu curry sauce mixes. Um, you can actually buy the sauce ready made by Yo as well. Um, but because there's more of us, um, I thought I would get these instead because I can make it go further. Plus they were on offer for like 
50 pence each and you basically just mix them with water and the reason why I got this is because this isn't bought this week but I've had this in the cupboard for a while and it's the crumb and um, so I'm gonna make my own katsu so with rice and like a cucumber salad and stuff uh, one day this week because I think the kids will really enjoy it. I got some Dosecco spaghetti. I really, really like this brand um, and it was on offer, which is a bonus. I got the biggest pack of chicken I think I've ever bought in my life. Um, it's really loads, there's loads. Um, and they're really big like breasts as well. But um, I thought I would just bulk buy it and anything that we do or don't use um, can either be repurposed elsewhere or frozen um, and things like that because uh, it just again in the long run works out more cost effective um, which also goes on to these as well so these were like two I want to say for eight pounds I do think things have gone up massively in price recently I don't know if that's just me but it really has um, the kids one night are going to have beef burgers and there's six in here and obviously three children so i'm going to do beef burgers one night freeze the remainder and then they can have beef burgers like in the future and i'll just defrost them on the day that i need to and then because of the deal i thought i would get the chicken and chorizo kebabs as well and i'll probably immediately freeze these and they will do well for say like you know, a meal where um, we have to eat separately because the kids have got a club or something, me and Mark have them with like some salad or pita or something. So I was just trying to buy smart with those two and take advantage of the offer. Um, excuse my scruffs that I'm wearing, by the way, because I'm actually doing some cleaning um, this morning. Um, so that's that. Um, Bill weirdly asked me for some seafood sticks. Um, so... I don't even know if he's had these before in all honesty, but he wants to try them. So we're good. We're going to give those a go. And then I also got some more smoked salmon from Mark because he's been really enjoying smoked salmon and cream cheese bagels. So that, that and that are mainly his because I'm not a fish fan. Um, I got some cauldron falafels. These are great falafels, by the way. I really, really like these. I've been eating these for years. We also have some left over in the freezer. So I thought I would get these just to go with them. Um, and then we've got two different types of falafels for like a like falafel bowl that I'm going to do for everybody. Got some pancetta, unsmoked because I prefer that. We have some much cured ham, halloumi, I've already mentioned the cream cheese. We've got some cheese slices for the burgers. Um, you've got to go for some plastic cheese on a burger, haven't you? <laughs> and then we've got some pilgrim's choice because that was on offer. Got some ricotta. 50% less fat, creme fresh, And I got another Ramona's Heavenly Hummus. She does a jalapeno version as well, but obviously I got this because it's more child friendly, but it's really nice. And this big tub is just, I don't know, it's more sturdy and like seals better than the ones that you buy normally. And because we really like hummus, we go through it quite easily. Um, I got a large pack of puff pastry. And then I was really pleased to see these actually because there's um, a place in Manchester called Go Falafel um, that we absolutely loved. And when I used to work in the same office as Mark, we would go there a lot for their falafel bowls, hence why we had this. I've been craving them. And they always had these um, Lebanese flatbreads and you can't really get them usually but when i saw them i was like i have to have them because it's going to be way more authentic and i'm going to make like a parsley salad i'm going to roast some aubergine off we've got the roasted red peppers and um, we've got hummus i think it's going to be really nice oh and um, pomegranate and stuff so i got that this was new and um, warburton's have like a 25 seed bread which I wasn't really feeling. And then they had this Make It Grain one, which is a Maris Otter Barley Malt Grain, which I've never tried before, but it's really soft and looks really nice. And the packaging is paper as well, which is quite good. So I got that for me. Um, this is for sandwiches. These are for sandwiches plus meatball subs. So I'm going to use three for sandwiches, five for meatball subs. I made meatballs last week, froze a batch. And I'm going to make meatball subs and maybe like fries and salad one night. Um, so that's what those are for. Um, and then the bread is just like for lunches and breakfast as well. But we'll go through that in a couple of days, to be honest. Um, chocolate crepes like we always get. And then I've got some big ones. So three will be used on the kids. Um, three will be frozen and two will be used on the mark. Um, so we have the burger buns for these in the freezer as well. So again, I was just trying to shop clever. So that is all of that. And then over here, 
Frozen bits. The french fries were on offer and um, the McCain ones are really nice so I got those. Um, Twisters were on offer, these Pika Blue ones, the kids love them um, so I got some more while I could take advantage of like the discount. Um, chicken Shop Sizzler Fillet Burgers are the burgers that Mark and I are going to have because we prefer something spicy. And I kind of prefer a chicken burger to a beef one I think. Got some lemon sorbet, fruits were on offer so I've got some of those this week, pepperamis were on offer, fruit slurpee apple and banana and apple and strawberry barley bears are still on offer so i got those plus we have daisy's friend here tonight because i always do um the rainbows run and she absolutely loves these so i always get them in there's only five in a pack though so by the time i've like given everyone a snack after school there's only one left um arrows were on offer squash things i can normally get monster monster on offer and the kids will really enjoy those. And then finally, the, these are other things that Mark added. So he added 7-Up Rennie and these coconut collab pots. We've had these before. He's got the chocolate orange cups this time, but these are bigger ones. I normally buy like the ones that are like little diddy ones. Um, and he also got the coconut and cream um, ones as well. But these are a little bit smaller. I um, might have to steal one of them. And I got some co-fresh rice sticks. These are so nice if you ever get to try them. Got a big bottle of coconut capella cloudy apple because that was on offer orange lemon and pineapple juice because um we've run out of like an orangey squash and then finally some toilet roll because when are we never out of toilet roll so that is everything okay so on to the meal plan now friday i'm gonna do like a big snacky platter for the kids it's something that i've really been enjoying doing at the moment um i have one of these big i'm gonna get it actually so these type things this is a pit plates one and i've had this for ages now it's like a melamine type thing and it has different dividers but it's so child friendly i mean not only because it looks really cute look at it it's got a smiley face in the middle but um i can put different things in different sections they can choose what they want um i serve like sweet things and savory things together i'm not really so fussed about when they eat stuff as long as they eat a good amount and a varied amount so i normally do like a pit plate like this and then as they're getting bigger this isn't really enough for three kids so sometimes i'll use this one like this one's from cherries but you can get these from all over but if you ever spot one get one because they're great for play dates as well um, and sometimes i'll fill loads of like fruit and veg up on here and then get like our pizza plate thing and i'll do pizza with it for them it just depends on like what's going on if they've got friends here but i really recommend them and that's what i do and it's also very quick for after school so if you've got a club night it's just really handy but you can also make it like beforehand and put a bit of cling film over it and keep it in the fridge and bring it out again add like hot food to it as and when it's ready so that's what i have been doing a lot especially for like busy nights like this or play dates you know impromptu play dates where you've got a meal plan but something happens and you arrange to like do stuff with your friends and got more kids around and then it's just like i always I always grab these and I use them so much. I think they're great. Um, that was a bit of a ramble about picky plates. But anyway, <laughs> um, Saturday we did burger night. So we did cheeseburger for the kids and spicy chicken burgers for us. Um, those burgers, as I showed you, like I bought in bulk and then I have now got some like ready for the freezer, which is just great. Um, Sunday, chicken and tarragon pot pie with mash and veg. The weather is so up and down at the moment like sometimes i fancy like a proper sunday dinner type thing like this and then other days when it's warm i'm like oh no that's the last thing i want i want something lighter and fresh and uh, it's so frustrating like i hope it levels out soon because um i'm looking forward to the warm weather anyway um monday using the leftover meatballs from last week um, i'm gonna defrost them and cook them in a pan as normal and then make meatball subs just with a quick pasta sauce that i'll make out of sata garlic uh, pinch of sugar maybe a bit of oregano salt and pepper that kind of thing very very quick and easy olive oil um, and then i'll finish off like poaching the brown meatballs in that and then just going to serve them on sub rolls and jobs are good and i'll either do fries or like some pasta on the side and um, just if anyone wants it which is a bit weird but it'd be a good way to use up the rest of the pasta sauce because i'm imagining I have a fair bit of that, but you don't put loads of that on the bread because otherwise it goes all soggy. Anyway, I'm just thinking aloud there, you know. Um, and I'll also obviously do like salad and stuff as well. Um, chew, where are we? Yes, cheese day. Um, falafel bowls with pita and hummus. Um, 
everyone in this house likes falafel and again it's one of those it's light it's easy it's customizable kids can choose what they would like and i think it'll go down very well um wednesday chicken katsu with rice and a cucumber salad and um, we have loads of like frozen chicken in the freezer and i'm just trying to work through the freezer as you probably know it's just to use things up a little bit and then finally because it's my new dish of the week you know how i was obsessed with Gigi hadid's vodka pasta now i'm obsessed with cacio pepe made with truffle oil because i'm i think i'm really extra and cool and also i'm going to add some pancetta this time as well because it's nice and salty and mm. um, but yeah that is the meal plan so i hope you found this useful and i will hopefully see you all next time take care of yourselves bye <laughs>